Yep, super clear. Yeah, they, it makes very good clear eyes. Today we are doing a tech review, which is something that I've been meaning to do for a really long time. Uh, and there is no better time to do it than now. Bartending tech, ice tech, it's all kind of going off in the drinks industry. I've had this machine, the Claris Clear Ice Block Maker for a while now. I've been testing it out and I gotta say, I really, really like this product. It's a bit on the pricey side, but I think it's worth it. So what this is, is the very first countertop clear ice block maker. It makes cubes of ice that are clear, big rocks of ice for like your old fashioned. And what's really cool and very revolutionary about this is, you know, we've seen ice makers that make pebble ice on a countertop. What this makes is a very specialized kind of ice, and it's pretty striking that the guy that invented this was able to make this type of ice on a countertop. The guy in question is a man named Charles Hader, who is an engineer by trade, and actually more specifically what his job has been for the last several years was to take big industrialized machines and reimagine them for consumers. So he is a person who is like individually suited to make a countertop ice machine like this. What is striking about this is that it mimics the exact same way that a Kleinbell ice machine freezes. So a Kleinbell machine is a big ice machine that utilizes the technique of directional freezing. A uh, directional freezing is basically the process of freezing water from one side while insulating the other sides so that it freezes very evenly and it pushes the impurities out. Usually when we do this at home, we do it in a cooler and so we're freezing from the top down and then we'll have some skeletal ice that's filled with water and that's where the impurities go. But a Kleinbell does it differently. What it does is it freezes from the bottom up. So there's this big cold plate on the bottom of the machine. And then the other thing that it does is this constantly circulates water to make sure that it dispels all of the gases and bubbles that could possibly form in the water. And as it freezes, it doesn't freeze all the way. So you never get any cloudy bit. What you get is just a lake of water on the top and then the ice on the bottom. The thing about Kleinbells is that they're 14 to $20,000 and they freeze a 300 pound block that you need a special machine to pick out. Obviously that's great for an ice company, not so much for the consumer. We are living in a time where there are many ice companies that are cocktail specific that you can just go buy your ice, which is completely fine, but it's really exciting to be able to make the ice at home. So what Charles did here is he created a countertop Kleinbell machine. As you can see, he's got a propeller on top which circulates the water as it runs. And then on the bottom here, he has a cold plate. And so what you do is you have these little molds right here, and then these little plastic inserts that go into the mold. You make sure that they're snug. You just set this into the machine. You close it, you press start, and six to eight hours later, you have four big pieces of ice. And what's nice about this is that it runs very quietly. So if you decide to put it in your kitchen, it's not gonna make a lot of noise. You can just constantly make ice with it and then take that ice and store it in your freezer. And then you will always have rock ice for your old fashions or any other rock strings. Fun fact, do you know what Claris means? I wanna say it means clear ice. It does mean clear ice. In, uh, <laughs> like it sounds like it means clear ice. In uh, Swedish and Norwegian. Oh, very good. You... And and he's from uh, Minnesota, I think, right? This I guy? don't know if the he's company's from Minnesota. Minnesota, right? Okay, the company's from Minnesota. I don't know if he's from Minnesota, but may, it stands to reason that he lives in Minnesota, whether he's from there or not. But you know what? It's funny because I had a phone call with him and I didn't even ask. I didn't ask like, oh, where is your company situated? I, I asked all the nerdy ice questions. Uh, so upsides to this, first of all, is made by a, a, a cocktail enthusiast and an ice enthusiast. And so I think a lot of the details that would be missed by larger companies that make an ice machine have really been attended to here. I also think that it is proprietary enough technology that you're not gonna get a ton of knockoffs really fast. Although I don't think that this thing has become sufficiently popular enough to have knockoffs. It makes four clear ice cubes and then also they have a Collins spear tray so that you can make Collins spears as well, uh, which I think is a big upside. But there are a few downsides to consider. One of them is that it's $550, so it really is is, you know, it's a pretty expensive piece of equipment. It is definitely something that most people are gonna have to commit to. Another downside is the ice cube size. So I'm a real stickler for ice cubes. I really don't like it when cocktails are made in a big, huge glass with a little tiny ice cube. I just think that presentation means a lot. And for me, I like to have big, heavy glasses. And so these ice cubes would really be swimming in that glassware. That being said, if you use smaller glassware, it's gonna be less of an issue for you. Another thing that I like about it is that it comes out fully tempered, so you're gonna have surface water on it. You can absolutely refreeze it, but what's nice is that you see 
how clear the ice is right up front. But with systems that are not electrical, just like, uh, you know, molds that you freeze in the fridge, even the ones that have directional freezing systems attached to it, uh, you have to freeze them. They come out cloudy because they are frosted and then you have to let them temper and melt a little bit to show their clarity. This one, you see the clarity right up front, which is really nice, but I really don't like the size. That said, I have it on good authority that they are gonna be making a bigger ice machine, which is going to be more pricey, but it's gonna make bigger pieces of ice that you can then shape. I think one of the things that are lost in ice machines like this, or even in systems where you're freezing something in the freezer and have a very specific shape of ice is that you don't get to carve and shape your own ice, which I think is a plus, especially if you're an ice nerd and you like to have custom made pieces of ice for your drinks. And so if they make something that's bigger, it's gonna take care of that problem. You'll be able to shape your ice yourself. And I'm really waiting to test that machine. Using this is pretty simple. You just wanna make sure that you put the plastic inserts in whichever shape you wanna do and make sure that they're snug. If they're like off kilter in any way, they're gonna make weird shapes of ice. So I'm gonna make some cubes and this is pretty simple. You just wanna take some water here and you just wanna fill it to the fill line. You don't wanna go below that. You don't wanna go above it. So just go right to the fill line. Now you wanna make sure of a couple things. If there's any water on the bottom or any water on the plate, you wanna make sure that you wipe it off because it will freeze onto the machine because that plate is the plate that gets cold. So just make sure there's no water there. And then we're just going to pop it in like so. Close the, the door here and then it'll say idle, press start. And then it should tell you that it's chilling with a little time on the top. And then also it warns you not to open. The one weird thing about this machine is that it tells you how much time has elapsed and not how much time is left. So it counts up from zero. And I think that in future renditions of this machine, it'd be a lot more helpful to start at, I don't know, eight hours or something and then count down. The thing is, is that this may be because the time is a little variable. It takes between six and eight hours to complete a cycle. And I'm not sure if that's something that they can standardize to have a counter that that counts up. I'm not sure if that's very important to the company. I just thought it was a little odd when I when I started using it. And then when it is done, it does have like a five and a half hour holding time. So it will hold your ice for you before it begins to melt. And this is just something that's standard in most countertop ice machines, like your pebble ice machine. If you don't harvest the ice out and put it in the freezer, uh, the top ice will start to lose chill and start to melt, go back into the machine and then start the cycle all over again. So this machine is pretty much par for the course of the other ice machines. Uh, the five hour hold time is nice and there is also a delay start so you can delay the time and get it to freeze between a, a certain time that you want. It uses just, just one button control and then a bunch of uh, twisting to be able to set that time. Well, our Claris ice is ready. Let's take a look. So when we pull this out, we're gonna have water here on the top and you wanna make sure that you have uh, a sink handy, in this case, a bucket, because I'm out in the studio. And then what you'll have is ice on the inside here. We're just gonna separate it here from the tray. And then you just have to break it off this little plastic insert. And then you have your fully tempered, fully clear ice. And that's it, you get pretty good sized cubes. As you can see, like my insert wasn't in uh, exactly properly. So it's a little wavy on that side. And the ice cubes are like pretty good size. This is about the same size that you'll get out of uh, like a King Cube tray from Tavolo or something. I think that this is something that is definitely useful for cocktail nerds and people who are really interested in cocktails and doing cocktails at home and home bartenders. I'm really glad that I have one of these machines. I definitely want to see a version that has bigger ice cubes and then also different shapes. I don't know if they can figure out a way to do uh, spheres or something, but uh, the brains behind this was so inventive and so creative that I am really excited to see what this company does next.